われわれは戦争を望んでいるだから君たちが邪魔なんだよ行こう迎撃だしかしあれは新連邦政府に栄光あれ Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Sandbox Channel. Today we are unboxing it first, then we will do the review. You know,、uh, during the time problem, so I already opened up the box, so you don't have to watch me try to, you know, open this thing in like what? Like for strike five minutes struggling opening it. Because this box, seriously, I don't know who shipped it. Did the guy ship it? What, what, what was、uh, he or she thinking? He, he put like so many tapes on it. And it's so hard to cut through with a knife. And then,、um, yeah, it took me a very long time to you know, open up the box. But anyway, this time we're reviewing the Bazago Chest Breaker. And I always have to say, though, like Bandai give absolutely no love to the、uh, Gundam X series. You know why? They only give us four gamblers the Air Master, the X Gundam, the X Divider, and the Double X. Ball the XG, and then the, other than that,、um, we only get this Fazer Gold Chestbreaker as a Robo Damashi, which is way expensive、uh, than the XG ones.、Uh, I bought it on the eBay seller for 47 AUD, and the currency I will show on the screen right now. But, anyways,、um, we are gonna you know just take a look at the box first. So, this time,、uh, Is a introduction and a action picture on the left, and then the you know the little introduction on the right side as well. And then we clearly see the Gana Vazago chest breaker. Then we turn to the other side, we can see that that's the front, and this is the whole body. So, first, we're gonna need to open it up first. So, you know, let, let's pull this out. Okay, as you can see, there's oops. There's no action base in here, so、uh, that's a good thing because the robot damage the action base seriously sucks. And next up, we have a instruction manual. You know, it's just a piece of paper, but this time it looks like way you know, larger than the Duke Gundam's one. And then we can see that first we have to assemble the backpack and then, you know, turn the wings around, and then, you know, we got a weapon, we got weapons, we got. The, how do you open the? I believe this is chest beam. And we have three different options. I believe this is one of the weapon holding hand. This is the fist hand and the open hands. And then we got the sub arms, or、uh, how do you turn on the sub arms as well. So, first, we're gonna take a look at this thing. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna, you know, we're just gonna take this out and then we're gonna take a look at it. So, We can see a lot of things here. So, first, you know, let's take out the main body, you know, take a really quick look of it before I go into detail. So, first, we can see, we, let's, let's take a quick check here. Do I have any jackpots like the Duke Gundam that I got last time? So, it seems like this is pretty perfect. The sanding, the sanding and the coloring is perfectly perfect. I didn't hit any jackpots.、Uh, that's great. <laughs> I don't want to hit any jackpots.、Um, so, we can see there's some screws here. To make sure、uh, the gobbler is safe, very stability. And then, according to the instruction manual, there's you can pull up the middle part and you can see the chest cannon here. And then,、uh, the, both of them, the, the side here is, can be opened as well. So, as you can see, the painting in there is doing a very good job. It gives you a transparent view while it's staying the、uh, silver parts of the paint. It's doing a very good job this time, actually. We look at the feet bottom, like. Like, maybe if you want to, you know, meet the perfection, you might want to do some pen line on your own, but uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it. And then we look at the back, we only have one thruster for before the backpack mounted on, and I think that's pretty good. And oh, I love the gold painting here, you know, I the part that I like the robot damage is they always got uh, the painting, uh, and it's not gonna disappoint you, okay? They always got the good paintings, man. Let's look at this. So good for early product, Robo Damashi. I think this one deserves a win. And then next up, we can look at the wings. I always feel like, oh gosh, why so hard to take it out? Give me a second, give me a second. <sighs> so hard to take out. Like, for some reason, I always feel like this、uh, Valago's wing it looks like bat wings. Does anyone have this kind of view? Because I feel like this looks like the bat wings. I'm Batman. And then you know, let's take a quick look of this. So, of course, it can rotate, 
can flip top. Wow, there's three pieces in it. If you don't know, there's three pieces in it. Now it looks like now it looks like the thing that you know the Batman Batman throws out or something. If you, <laughs> you if you get what I mean. Next up, we got a. Oh, this is the. If you guys don't know what is this, uh, if you ever watch the Gundam X series, sometimes the Vazago will pull out from this weapon out of nowhere and then combine it. It's a. It's a six tube, uh, beam, beam rifle or something. I I don't remember what's that called, but um, yeah. But this is this is basically how it works. So how do you put it back? How do I put it back? I I don't remember. How do I put it back? Oh, we put it like this. That's good. And then we have the hands option here. So currently we got the fist hand on. So currently we got the fist hand on the gamble. So this is the weapon holding hand, and this is the uh, open hands. So at the other side here we got beam sabers. One piece of beam saber and one piece of beam saber effect cards. So compared to the duo gun the last time, I think um, <clears throat> this time the Vazago chest breaker don't have much accessory as the duo Gundams. So I think, yeah. I think that would be great. So how about we just skip to the talk? Uh, how about we just skip the talking and let's get straight into the review. All right then. So now let's take a quick look of the Gabla. So first, let's look for her head. So the head, uh, three sixty, no problem at all. Move up, down, no problem at all. The hand can go uh, all the way 360 as well. And the hand is the interesting part that you can extend the whole arm because, you know, the Vazago design is very famous of uh, the sub arms on the shoulders joint. So the arms at the front, you can twist 360 as well. The, uh, the second joint here, you can also twist 360 as well. There's a clip and a joint here. So when you re reattach it, be sure you have to be, you know, very sure that you actually push in to the correct position. The whole arm is able to bend uh, this much. And then also the claws down here can flip down and each each side of the claws can actually go to the um, whatever position that that you want it and it's actually a ball joint so please be careful when you're messing around the hands down here can also the hand the hands option down here can also move as well it's a ball joint the chest the chest here is can be opened as well and by the way i forgot to mention the shoulder is an individual joint here so you can move as well uh, and as you can see at the when i was introducing it the, the torso can pull up so you can do the uh satellite cannon thing and also, and also you can flip up the front skirt, flip up the side skirt. The side skirt can be moving as well. The back skirt is clearly fixed. You can kick to the front, kick to the side, and then, you know, bend this much on the legs. And the legs got a double joint here, so at the tip of the feet can be moved as well. And then we also got this little piece of armor down on the feet here that can slightly moving. And overall, the movement, the movements on this gunpla is pretty good actually and then now i just have to you know quickly fix the position and now we turn to the back there's three three wings here both all of them can be moved out and you know clip it back as well the backpack can move uh, side to side up and down as well and then we have a thruster here that is a ball joint so you can move to the you can kind of move it to whatever position that you want and the whole waist is able to turn 360 as well during there's no interruption and yeah that's pretty much it and uh, but this uh the legs this time actually got go to go side to side as well and go slightly front and back as well so overall the articulation on this thing is amazing so you know you can really mess around with the articulation that, that they got on it and now you know uh, after we quickly view the um articulation how about we just jump straight to the accessory part and the details part all right let's look at the details before we move on to the uh you know the extra part and the accessory so first let's look at the details so the, if you don't if you don't realize it the vasago chest breaker is based on a devil design so which is why you can look at the you know weird design that uh the wings it looks like bat wings and it looks kind of devil and you look at the head as well it gives a strong feeling of of a villain and also you can look at those weird arm extension and you can tell that it is a very 
special unit. I don't. I seriously don't get like why people don't like the Gundam X uh, villain or uh, protagonist the mobile suit design. I think it's uh, it's very cool. It's just a lot of people don't really like it. I don't know why, but I wish Ben I actually you know make a model and then yeah, just let us fans to have fun with it. So. First, we look at the head. So the head, uh, I think personally, it does a very good job. The color separation is very clear, and as you can see here, uh, even the smallest, even the smallest part on the head, I got the color separation right here. As you can see here, the side here, we got some great parts here. So I think the color separation on the head is doing a good job. However, the part that I don't, that I feel like is a little bit off, is the chest because I feel like the chest is a little bit too bulky and a little as is a little too large and the scale when uh, i don't know is it me but when i look at it the scale looks a little bit weird like the upper body is is very bulky and then the waist part here is kind of slim and then the legs is kind of slim as well and meanwhile the you know the chest is looks like a very bulky part and it looks a, a bit weird to me but i think it kind of makes sense because you have a triple cannon on the ch in the chest so i suppose your engine should be pretty large as well and anyways let's take a look at the side details here so the part that likes the most is the shoulders if you take a look closer closely we can see there's a lot of details here and uh, it actually uses uh, the screws to tighten up tighten up the joint up so it makes sure it won't you know uh, pop out consistently and we can see that that's the tubes detail here and is actually a silver painting and we turn it to the side of the shoulders we can see this kind of small thrust detail here and I think it's personally I think the the color beam on the shoulders is excellent and then we take a look at the claws the claws is movable and it's gold painted so I think that is a very very good thing and I like this kind of coat it's like a champagne gold and champagne gold with metallic gold and then we look at the waist here the part that i like about the robot obviously is they always got a separate joint on the waist and it looks a little bit more realistic than the xg ones and then we look at the feet and then we look at the feet and the legs here the feet under the feet we get all kinds of details the gray part and then we also got the legs part for the details as well as you can see all the color separation is doing a good job however i did hit a jackpot when i was unboxing it i didn't realize it if you look closely to the legs uh, it actually got some gaps on it and unfortunately when i pushed in it doesn't work it doesn't pushed in so we just leave the gap there and the part that i like the most is the wings like the wings no matter how you flip it it's not gonna pop out and, and it's not gonna fall out and the stability is just it's just mind-blowing however the part that i don't really the, however that i wish they did more is the thruster bar here i wish they do they did give you a extra color separation on the thrusters but unfortunately uh, because the robot machine is you know um what well, well, how should i phrase it is based on the anime so if the anime don't have any color separation in it then uh, we don't get any but i really wish that part inside inside the first is a silver part but um unfortunately we don't have that and then i can say though the part that impresses the most is the chest here as you can see as i said uh, on the unboxing when you open it you can clearly see the color separation on it is beautiful if you take a look at it we can see the all kind of clear piece here and also we can see it reflects under the light like i currently have two lights turned on you can see that it reflects under the light and you can see the colors clearly i really admire this kind of design and they even give you uh, those you know very small detail kind of separation on the chest i personally think that is excellent and the part that i need to say it again as well is the and let me just pull up the chest as you can see here the part that i the part that i you know don't that the part that i think that can be improved is add, add a little bit of black the uh, black color details on it but unfortunately this is a one to one to 144 scale so it's very hard to do it if we if you look carefully on the extended part on the waist you can see there's a little bit of tube designed the tube details here and when you extend it it actually gain you a little bit more movements on the waist and if you take a look at inside the ways we can see there's a screw joint there as well to prevent it from falling it out i think the stability on this robot machine is doing a absolute good job it's, it's doing the best job ever next up i want to introduce something that is very very 
cool is the I would call this the black technology of the arm. So as you can see, the arms is extendable. So it is a all there is uh, about there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven joint on the arms. You can rotate it to a, a limited angle and then you can twist it around. And the part that I admire the arms the most, if you look at the front, if I pop it up, and this cap here is moving with the arm. So if you unlock it, you can actually gain a little bit of extra movement. But be careful if you look closely, it is a ball joint. So please be careful when you are uh, moving around because you we all know what ball joints look like. And then this is the part that I like the most. So at the front arm here, I actually didn't realize there is an extra joint here for you to turn the claws around. And I personally think that is a very good thing. And now let's look at this. Uh, when you extend the arm, you can turn into a different, you can, you know, turn it to different position, different, different directions as well, because it got a, it got a very beautiful joint in there. And then you can see, I can, I can bend it to whatever joint that I want. And if I would, uh, what if I what if I want to re-attract it? And it's pretty simple. You just have to you just have to bend it again. You just have to bend the arms again. But however, be careful. Do not over, do not bend it too. Do not bend it with you know too much too much force. You might break it. And the part that I like the most is right here. So between between the arms, the, there's a there's a there's a joint in here that actually stabilizes the arms. So when you re-attract it you can know where you're exactly putting the arms at. So now we are moving on to the accessory part. So first, let's talk about the option hand. So first, the first pair of hands you will get is this kind of weapon holding hand. So it is a soft plastic for you to. So what you have to do is, unlike the HG, you don't have to unplug it. You basically just, because it's a soft plastic. So what you have to do is if you grab out your weapon, uh, so it's either the free burials, strike shooters, or the beam saber, you basically just push it in. But be careful, don't push it too hard because you don't want to break it. And this is robot World Machine. If you break it, you don't have a backup and it's expensive as hell. And then the second pair of hands option we got is a, is a open, is the open hand. So this one is for the shooting form for the uh, Megasonic Cannon when the Vaza go strike the arms on the ground to secure the recoil. And as you can see here, all the hands here got up at the back, there's a ball joint connection here. So if you don't know all the Robo Damage's hands, uh, how did they switch around? There's a ball joint on the arms and you pluck that off and then you just put another pair of hand in. And then, Next up, we got the free burial strike shooters. So officially, uh, I don't know about I don't know about it, but officially, there's no record to say where do you store this on the gambler. So you basically, uh, from my perspective, whenever I watch the Gundam X anime, I seriously don't get it. Where did the Vasago pull out from this? Pull this weapon out because I usually just see it to you put you know pull it out from the back, but I actually don't know where they actually pull pull out from. And that's an interesting thing is you can combine them together. So as you can see here, if you look closely, there's a join here. And then at the, at the end, you, all you have to do is just combine it together. And then you can hold it on both hands. So now it becomes just a six barrel strike shooter. And I personally think the color separation on this thing is amazing. Like, look at this. The scope and the gold color is just beautiful right here. And I personally think this is one of the coolest weapons for a Gundam. Lastly, what we got is a beam saber effect part. You ask me, where is the beam saber handle? Well, if you take a look at the Vasago spec, this is the beam saber handle. You can pull this out and then put it on it. And that's all the accessory that the Vasago got. Because, you know, Vasago is not like some... Uh, it's not like the X1 full armor or any kind of other gobbler that have a lot of accessory. Uh, what what the Vasago got is just some very basic accessory. Beam sabers, if you call the strike shooters as beam rivals, I'm fine with it. Now, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel as well. I always need to say though, if you want to rate, 
if you want me to rate this robo diamond shield, I honestly would rate about a pretty high mark. If you said 10 marks is the full marks, I would rank about eight. There's just some small details that I wish it can be fixed. For example, a little bit more color, a little bit more detail color separation on the on the thrusters and the on on the arms joint uh, and the shoulders joint as well. And then maybe you know, and then you know fix. Uh, those small gaps on the gamma and that would be perfect and that's it my suggestion is if you have the condition just buy one if you are a gundam x series fans like me i i personally i like the gundam x series design but it's just bandai never make one they only turn like what as i mentioned on the start they only turn four mobile suits into xgs and then now we got one as robo damage so that's will make a total of five and you know we just gonna do this thing again so hashtag justice for Bozago and hashtag justice for what's that called uh Ashtonon. so Ashtonon is the is the brother unit of this gamma and you can search that up uh, while well, they are brothers in the anime and they work together so hashtag justice for both of them because you know why i seriously think that gundam x design deserve a model i deserve a actual model like i don't care if it's like g or robo damage or rg i don't care if it's mg pg i don't care just give us one okay i i seriously think that gundam x deserves a lot of, uh, like some love the me the mechanical design is awesome and it's impressive I just don't get why people, you know, don't like the series. Just because the series script or the drama or the or the whole uh, anime series sucks, it doesn't mean that the mechanical design you have to hate on the me uh, mechanical design as well. So I think it Bandai need to do some justice on the Gundam X series. They have to release some models from the Gundam X series. So yeah. That's pretty much my opinion about it. And this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching my review. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy what you're seeing on the content. And I'll be sure to see you guys in another next video. And I'll see you guys in the next review. Goodbye. Have a nice day.